Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a Stitch Fix. I already have an out of the box because I needed that box to mail something. <laughs> I'm hoping that everything goes okay to shoot this video because I have two dogs that are kind of at odds with each other. You, I shared Bosco, my new foster. Um, but Minnie came back to us. This is what, our third time? Fourth time? Third time, I think to have Miss Minnie, and uh, he's not having that. He had a hard enough time accepting Bella was in the house, so having B Minnie here, hmm, he's not he's not happy. So anyway, enough of that. Uh, my Stitch Fix, okay, like I said, I don't have the box because I needed to mail something when this came in. I got a Stitch Fix yesterday, and today is Easter Sunday, so I got it yesterday. Happy Easter, by the way, if you celebrate, or Passover, or is it Ramadan? I think it's Ramadan also so it's like the moon aligned with the stars and everybody had their celebrations at the same time all right so my fix total wow it's a big total i just saw that wow my stylist picks are you ready 613 dollars so if i bought it all i would get a 25 percent discount and when your bill's 613 dollars then your discount's pretty hefty too, and that would be $153.25. So my total order, if I were to keep everything, would be $459.75. I don't have to worry about the um, styling pass because I get, or styling fee because I pay the yearly rate. So and I've already got that back. So anyway, let's. I'm just look at this real quick. Okay, so the only thing under $100 is one thing. So let's take a look at it. So this was quite different than the uh, Amazon Prime wardrobe that I have because that one, like everything was pretty good price. So, so it's sort of the opposite this time. I did not read my stylist notes yet. If you've never done Stitch Fits before, they send you a card that gives you some suggestions on how to style the things that are in your box. And there's always a little note from your stylist. I'll go ahead and read it real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so basically I had a little problem in the preview and it ended up like I didn't want the box and I did. There were items I liked and so I tried to say I want these items and they went to try to figure out what items they presented to me. They didn't know, so that tells me that was probably really more done with an algorithm. Anyway, long and short of it is, the items that I did recall were no longer available. And that was like just the next day. So I was a little surprised. But anyway, she says that they actually sent me five flowy dresses, I guess, which is crazy because I've had such trouble getting uh, flowy dresses from anybody. So and now I, got, I think I have a whole box of them, which is bye bye. Okay, so first thing is by Kay Lee. It says right on there, made in Guatemala. All right, so this is uh, not a cotton. She does mention that two things are cotton. This is very poly feeling, but yet it's a knitted poly feeling. It is 95 poly, five, spindex, five spandex, and the lining is 100% polyester. So there must be lining somewhere. I don't see lining, but it says lining. Yeah, I don't see any lining. So I like the print. Oh, and it's got a, a flounce. I love the print. And it's just a v-neck sleeveless yeah. so style's cute fabric not not crazy for it. all right she did say the cotton things she got were in made well i don't know if you watch my channel i'd have to go back and look for sure but i don't think i've done that well with made well things oh the price on this kaylee sorry ahead of myself it's called the marion tiered knit dress in blue 2x $54. If you're new to my channel, I wear a size uh, women's 20 usually, sometimes an 18, um, and a 2X usually. But yeah, usually 2X is pretty much right on. All right, so made well. All right, so this is a cottony. All right, so I just don't think this is the age appropriate for me. But it is a cottony dress. It's very prairie like. Uh, yeah, in the 70s, I wore stuff like this, although they were long, and they were by the brand Gunny Sacks. So, yeah, I don't know. That looks like something for someone a bit younger than me. It is the Madewell, nope, it isn't. 
It is the Madewell Anya Square Neck Tiered Mini Dress. Oh, mini dresses. Yeah, I don't do that. Uh, beige 20W, $118. So it's not as expensive as I might have thought. Okay, next is something that is a more of a jersey knit. It's also a dress. I love the feel of it. It's soft, very soft. And it is hot pink with black and beige polka dots. Uh, it's got kind of a key, is that called a keyhole, I think, in the front? I like the style of this. Oh, and it has a, a sewn-in waistband, sewn-in belt, whatever you want to call it, you know, the wider. It's, you know, a little more detail than just bodice to skirt. Yeah, I, uh, this would probably be more flattering. Hopefully this isn't a, a fabric that will be clinging. It does have a flutter sleeve or whatever. It is by Eleven Honoré. I do like this dress. Uh, it's it's a little bit heavy because of the type of fabric it is. It's the Tamara Flutter Sleeve Skater Drrr Stops. Um, yeah, Stitch Fix doesn't put full descriptions in. That's why sometimes if you do that, say it's a skater drrr. Because <laughs> you only have the DR. It is in dark pink, 2X, $188. So this is pretty expensive. But it's nice. I bet it fits well and is feels like it's made well. <laughs> made well. Uh -huh. All right. So, sorry about the noise. Got the other one. It's two bundles this time. I think they got so tired of me asking for flowy dresses. They said, let's see if she puts her, her what's it, money where your mouth is. <laughs> see if she buys any of these. We've seen expensive ones. All right. So this one right off is like a flannel. This is by Madewell. This is a heavy flannel longer sleeve, well it's not long sleeve, I think it's maybe three quarters, burnt orange with a ruffle on the bottom. Let's see what the front looks like. Uh, kind of like a Henley where it's just buttoned up the front there. Yeah, I'm not too fond of this. Not my favorite color, although I might, I can probably wear it, but so it's, it's that fabric, Florida? No. No, no, no. Um, made well. Cynthia Plackett tiered mini dress again. I don't really usually wear dresses very far above the knee, so mini dress makes me think it's really short, but it'll be fun trying these on for sure. Uh, burnt, bleh, burnt Orange 2X, $118. And then the very last one feels kind of like crepe, but not a really icky crepe if it is. And it is by Draper James. Uh, it's, it's blue. I like blue. It's not my favorite color of blue. It's um. Well, it's not really periwinkle. Maybe it's Wedgwood. Okay, so it's got a longer sleeve. What I do like is it has a banded sleeve, not just the elastic at the bottom. So that's nice. Um, oh, the neckline has a tie. And then it's got a pleated bottom. I think their idea of flowy dress and my idea of flowy dress might be a little different. All right, so let's see what it says. It is the Roseanne Shift Dress in blue 2X, $135. So, yeah. Um, this has probably got a bit of polyester, quite a bit, but it is a nice quality fabric. Not all polyesters are the same. Let's see what it says. 100% polyester. And it has a little bit of a crepe feel in that it's not smooth and... Uh, I can't... I don't think it'll show up in the picture what I'm trying to say, but it is a nicer quality. Yeah, I just, I'm not crazy for polyester in Florida. I just don't think it breathes that well. So those are the items. I need to get them tried on. <laughs> See you then. So I have bumped up my Stitch Fix try on in front of uh, boxes I've had longer <laughs> because I want to try these dresses. All right, so I have pulled this one up, the skater dress. It really belongs more down here because it has this waistband that has a line here and then a curved line here. And it, do, it just doesn't look right on me down below. And even here, this dress just, the middle cut isn't right. No, I think I must have gained weight, probably sitting around eating. Um, yeah, when you got two here and it grabs my, the little bit of a roll I have here at the top and the bottom, see what it does? Yeah, not flattering. Push it up, it's a little better. But yeah, it's super cute. It's just not made for me. You know, I think it's made for someone with a longer waistline. 
and then this can be at their true waist and yeah it's super cute though and comfy has a bit of a twirl to it I think feels like it does <laughs> love the sleeves sleeves are wonderful yeah I'm not so crazy about the print but I could live with it I like pink but hot pinks isn't really my favorite but I can wear it yeah I like this dress but uh, I think the I think it's not made for me so on to the next so second dress my second favorite first favorite was the first one I tried on after that they're all downhill <laughs> All right, so this dress is a little big. Um, you can see the shoulder comes off of my, the shoulder seam comes off of my shoulders. I have a lot going on right here. Yes, it is made to be a more uh, loose dress, but um, yeah, it's a little too much up there. I'm going to grab the back, and yeah, it's not working. Um, and I, my chest <laughs> makes the front hem a little shorter than the back. Normally, I have the opposite problem. My butt makes it bigger in the back, shorter in the back, but well, speaking of the back, yeah, it's just very plain, kind of just like a gunny sack again. Um, hi, Bella. We don't see you in here very often. Are you on the camera? Can they see you? Uh, yeah. Hey, girl. You want to say hi? Come, come here, baby girl. Come here, baby girl. Say hi. Don't, don't give me any hate on her eyes. We work on them all the time. She doesn't like that. <laughs> My mother would be appalled. I think my mom washed her eyes every day. Um, it is long sleeve. It is a polyester. It's not a bad one. It's a little bit thicker, kind of. Yeah. I don't know. You know? I don't know. Then, if I untie it, which I typically do with dresses with ties, I think this looks worse untied. Honestly, <laughs> I think it needed that tie to give it something. Yeah, I think the color looks good on me. Um, get down in my face here. Yeah, I think the color looks fine on me. But yeah. I don't know. We're going to try on the other ones. I have low hopes for this box now. Okay, so third dress was my third favorite out of all of them. Uh, and so far, actually, I think it's actually moved up to number one. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a flounce down here. Well, actually, I shouldn't say a little bit. It's got quite a bit of flounce. In fact, it comes up almost all the way to my uh, rear end there. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it should, <laughs> but it does. Um, it's very comfy. It is a poly knit kind of fabric. It's not my favorite fabric, but I think the dress is cute. It's very comfy to wear. It's got a v-neck without exposing a lot. It doesn't expose your bra strap. It's just oh, barely over it, but it's over it. It has a nice pleating here to hide tummy lines. Yeah, and I love the colors. It's a white background with a couple shades of blue. Very Holland, Dutch, Curacao looking. <laughs> That's what it made me think of. I keep that trivet on my, in here to put my drink on. Uh, yeah, I like this one actually. I don't remember how much it was, but I do like it. I may be buying a dress, we'll see. <laughs> All right, two more, dreading one of them terribly because it's hot and heavy looking. Okay, so the next dress. Yeah. <laughs> really see this dress for a 64 year old woman not to say that i hate the dress i don't hate the dress i like it i think it's cute but i think it's a little young <laughs> and i think somebody stole princess diana's sleeves from her wedding dress uh the fit it's a little big up here i think i think if it was taken in a little bit see how much more flattering that would be <laughs> yeah but uh yeah i don't think it's for me but I don't think it's not cute for sure I do not I'm not hating on it but, yeah where would I wear it I have no idea <laughs> you want to see the back up close yeah the sleeve um, elastic on the sleeve is pretty loose 
And I'm try I was trying to keep it right up above my elbow, which I think is where it should go, but it just automatically goes right down into the bend of my arms. But okay, yeah, the back. I'm starting to show you the back. I don't even know how low cut it is in the back. It might be real low cut. It doesn't feel it though. Uh, yeah. I do like this kind of neckline. I think this kind of neckline is flattering. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't really show. I mean, it's a little decolletage showing, but you know, it's definitely not R rated. Yeah, so it's cute. I think, uh, it, I think it looks cute on me, but you know, I'm 64. I think this is for someone a little, a little bit younger. <laughs> All right, last dress, and boy, am I dreading it. Gotta do it. Take it for the team. No, take it for the channel. Okay, are you ready for this one? <laughs> it's really not as bad as I thought. But it's hot, and I'm in Florida, and it's flannel. Uh, the sleeves are an odd length for me. I do have long arms, so I don't know if it's... You know, I can kind of make them look like they're long sleeves. Yeah, I guess now, but a lot of times it ends up feeling like it's too short. Uh, it is tiered. You know, this would be a cute dress in the fall with some boots or booties and... and uh, and uh, what do you call them? Tights and booties or just boots. Yeah, cute. But uh, it's not one of my favorite colors. I just think I mentioned that in another video that may not go up before this one. So yeah, again, if it was just a little tighter, a little less loose up at the tight, up at the top, it would be just a little more flattering because it might give you just a little something. But yeah, it's hot. <laughs> It's hot just trying it on. <laughs> it does have nice pockets. I, did I say that? Yeah, it's a nice dress. It's just, I don't think I see it that much as a Florida dress for sure. So, yeah. Today's Easter Sunday, so it definitely doesn't feel that spring Easter vibe at all. Okay, let's see what's going to go back to Stitch Fix and what's going to go on the hanger. Okay, I am back. <laughs> All right, with my stitch fix. <laughs> I had to remember what, what one am I doing. All right, so let's open the bag. Let's see how big a bag they gave me. But that dress alone there is pretty big. Kind of a medium size bag. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Let's put it over here. All right, so first up is the last one. Just going from the top. Make sure I have a dog behind me before I do that is this. My husband just about died when he saw me. He walked in from the garage. He's blowing up pool toys. We've got some new pool toys for this year. And that's what I'm doing after this video. Um, so yeah, way too hot. It's flannel. Uh, it's, I don't think it's not cute, but it's just, it's something that would be not comfortable to wear. I don't think in Florida, maybe except maybe one month of the year, maybe. Yeah, it's burnt orange. Cynthia Plackett tiered mini dress by Madewell, $118. Yeah, uh, not I'm not going to invest $118 in the dress, but it wasn't terrible. When I first took it out of the box, I thought it was terrible, but it really wasn't. And, and I could say the same about this one, also by Madewell. Again, Madewell and I, we just, just don't seem to get along that well. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call this the Princess Diana dress because that's what it is to me. Uh, it is the uh, Madewell Anya square neck tiered mini dress, beige 20W, $118. When they were seeing mini dresses before, I was expecting something really short and they weren't. Again, super cute, but not probably not really for me. It, You know, I am not opposed to wearing this style at, at 64 years old. But it's got to be the right one, and uh, that definitely wasn't the right one. That one was definitely, you know, more little girl style. All right, so next up is this one. And don't care for the fabric. It is the Kaylee, and it is the Kaylee Marion knit tiered dress. But it is a dress that I think I would wear a lot. It's in a blue 2X, $54. I think I would wear this a lot. I do. Um, it's exactly the type of dress I throw on to go somewhere. You can throw it, you know, wear it, you know, outright, or you can just throw it on over a swimsuit. It has good coverage here and here, you know. 
yeah. So I think I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I think I'll keep this. So first item on the hanger. I don't think I'll regret that. Um, again, I'm not crazy for the fabric, but sometimes you're not. But the style of the dress, the cut, the way it's made, I do, I do like it. All right, so next is the necktie one. Oh, too bad my husband wasn't around to see this. He would have had something to say about this. Uh, Draper James, Roseanne shift dress, 2X. Again, it's $135. It just has no shape to it. It does have the pleating at the bottom, not the pleating, the peplum or whatever at the bottom. But yeah, this, except for the last dress, the skater dress, all kind of have the, I guess, prairie style. I saw it come out in Target, like, uh, not this last fall, but the fall before maybe. And everybody was like, what the heck, Target? And then this year, I guess Old Navy had it too, and now it's in the style boxes now. All right, and then this one, the skater dress, is the Tamara Flutter Sleeve skater, skater Dress Dark Pink 2X, $188. So this is a little more spendy. I might have kept this if it fit better, but it doesn't, so <laughs> I'm not keeping it. Uh, it is a size 2 is what it says yeah it, it it wasn't cut right for me I think maybe if it was bigger it would have fallen right but I think it just and the fabric and everything I think it just um, yeah it just didn't do anything for me but I do like the dress a lot maybe if it was a little bit different fabric more of the um, what do they call that the scuba fabric like this one scuba fabric and that seems to work better for me than these than some of these uh, more clingy fabrics so anyway so just one item on the hanger and that is the one in the different shades of blue thanks so much for watching my channel i do hope that you will like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and for those who are subscribed i am so happy that you're here and watching this video thank you so much tell your friends I would like to get to 2,000 subscribers someday. <laughs> I've been on here a long time not to have 2,000 subscribers, so give a girl a hand. Would you help me out? <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.